Jesus will call me blessed, right? He said, you know, in every generation, in every nation, you know, people will call her blessed. Well, uh, there is a wonderful apparition that you can find uh, on the internet and on the Catholic radio, and it's a lady of all nations. It's a beautiful reminder that uh, uh, Mary appeared many times in our world, and uh, she also appeared in Holland. From 1945 until 1959, she appeared to a, uh, um, to a visionary whose name is uh, Ida, Ida Joanna. And uh, Mary appeared to, him, to her first in 1945 in Amsterdam on the Feast of the Annunciation, March 25th, the Incarnation. It's the day when God became flesh in her womb. The 25th of, of March, uh, that in itself for me is an indication of the veracity of this apparition because the incarnation is the central mystery of our faith. And so Mary's first apparition to her, she was in her kitchen. They were in the kitchen. The priest had come to visit and she was there with her family and she saw a light in the other room and she went into the other room to see what it was and Mary came out of the light. And Mary began to speak to her, and for the next several years, Mary appeared over 50 times to Ida and gave her a number of messages. And uh, particularly, one of the important messages that Mary wanted to give to the world was that she was asking uh, that the Pope declare uh, her a fifth Mary Dogma, that is that she is the pediatrics, the colored entrance of the mother of all peoples. And, um, and the advocate that she intercedes for us. So she's not just a model, she's not just something someone to imitate, she's also someone that God has given power to help us in the world. And so uh, these are the uh, uh, wonderful uh, things that uh, she said many wonderful things. And for example, in one of the apparitions, Mary said that I am our lady of all nations, and I wish for unity in the Holy Spirit. The world is covered by a false spirit. Of course, this is during World War II, and all the total, you know, uh, sort of uh, versions and things that came after, uh, after, you know, in modern times. And, um, and she says, once this new dogma is declared, the final dogma of Marian history, then the Lady of All Nations will be able to help, she said to bring peace, true peace to the world. The nations, however, must pray my prayer. And that's the little prayer that she asked everyone to say. Together with the church, they shall know that the Lady of All Nations has come as co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. And she says, so be it, I will return. And then Ida says that she felt afraid, you know, because Mary was saying that, you know, uh, if people don't pray, if people pray the prayer that Mary can help. And then, but Mary said, she responded, no, my child, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. So our lady is our mother, and it's urgent that we pray because of the, as she says in the prayer, because of the, the war and the disasters and the degeneration, and there was a lot of terrorism. We know that there's a lot of uh, 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 war. We know that there's a lot of degeneration, a lot of you know uh, crazy new things in our society, um, and a lot of disasters like the earthquakes and such. But Mary can help us, and so that's why we ask to say this prayer. So why don't we say this prayer at this time on your little cards? We can all say it together and ask our Lord to send the Holy Spirit and also to bless us through Mary, who is the spouse of the Holy Spirit, and can also bring, help us to have peace and protection. So let's pray together. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send now your Spirit over the earth, that the Holy Spirit live in the hearts of all nations, that they may be preserved from degeneration, disaster, and war. May the lady of all nations, the Blessed Virgin 